Good day, everyone. I'm happy to share our research entitled Fuzzy Optimization Models for the Selection of Negative Emissions Technologies Portfolios with Uncertain Cost and Performance. My co-authors are Professor Riman Tan and Professor Kathleen Aviso. My name is Maria Victoria Miga Samagang, and we are from the De La Salle University, Philippines. Before I start, I would like to share a quick information about De La Salle University in Manila, Philippines. Our university is a learner-centered, non-stock-profit Catholic university. We are a research-centered university, and we have a growing research output in the past years, ranking first in the Philippines in the number of Scopus-indexed publications. Moving on to the presentation, it's divided into five parts, and we will begin with the introduction. The model pathways show that to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius require emissions to peak by the year 2025, which is less than three years from now, and to reach net zero by 2050, according to the latest IPCC report. Without our mitigation efforts, global warming will cause severe climate impacts that will cost billions of dollars in economic loss and make it difficult for humans to thrive. The same report also listed the strategies to counter climate change. This includes renewable energy. If fossil fuels will still be used, it should be accompanied by car carbon capture and storage or CCS, demand-side measures, improving efficiency, and now negative emission technologies or NETs. Before, NETs were still optional, but the delay of in climate action, uh, that time has now passed. NETs are now needed to counterbalance the residual emissions to reach net zero, especially because of emissions from the difficult to decarbonize industries like aviation, heavy transport, etc. Because gigaton scale carbon dioxide removal is needed, there's no single bullet solution. Hence our paper in natural computational science hence our paper in nature computational science argues that net portfolios at smaller scale are needed to address risks and sustainability. But there remains a gap in computational decision support for strategic deployment of nets. The focus of this current paper is to address one of the challenges in computing optimal net portfolios, which is their techno-economic uncertainty. Because nets are emerging technologies, they have uncertain costs and performance. At the same time, in planetary scale, the resource constraints are also uncertain as we do not know exactly the limits of the planetary boundaries. We just know that there are zones of uncertainties. Many approaches were implemented to address the uncertainties of emission re reduction technologies and nets. For example, tracing the ground environment region in multi-criteria decision analysis problems. Target-oriented robust optimization approaches wherein multiple solutions are generated and subjected to Monte Carlo simulation. Neutrosophic data envelope analysis sensitivity analysis, and fuzzy optimization. Here, the, fuzzy, uh, the word fuzzy refers to goals and constraints having boundaries that are not sharply defined. Recently, a fuzzy optimization model was developed to optimize a net portfolio while considering the uncertainties in the resource constraints. However, there remains a research gap in considering the uncertainties in the cost and performance in the technology side or the nets. And this paper addresses that research gap using fuzzy optimization due to its capability to address uncertainties and multiple objectives at the same time. The problem statement is as follows. Considering a system, a set of M resources and a set of nets, nets require resources and have associated costs to sequester a target amount of carbon dioxide. Each net is depicted by its fuzzy environmental performance or footprint and cost. 
Likewise, each resource is defined by its fuzzy resource constraint. The problem is to de determine the best compromising solution in a NETS portfolio or the technology mix that maximizes the total negative emissions while conserving the available resources. The final model must be able to meet the negative emissions target and res resource constraints defined in fuzzy intervals. As mentioned, we chose to implement fuzzy optimization because of its capability to address uncertainties and multi-objectives, since we want to consider multiple footprints. The fuzzy set theory by Bellman and Zade in 1970 seeks the intersection between the fuzzy goals and the fuzzy constraints. Years later, Zimmerman developed a generic fuzzy mathematical programming formulation, which is the basis of this work. So each fuzzy constraint must be satisfied partially to a degree of lambda. The value lambda is constrained between 0 and 1, where 0 represents the least satisfaction and 1 represents the most satisfaction. And any value in between represents partial satisfaction. The solution giving the highest degree of aggregate membership in the fuzzy targets and constraints is the optimum. There are four types of fuzzy membership function, and this slide shows just the two of them, the minimization function and the maximization function. The function represents the regions of acceptable, partially acceptable, and unacceptable values. The minimization membership function is used when the objective calls for the lowest values. For example, a conservative decision maker may opt to minimize the resources as reflected in the resource constraints. On the other hand, the maximization membership function is used when the objective calls for the highest values. In this study, a conservative decision maker may opt to maximize the target negative emissions and also to maximize the environmental footprints and costs. This is a comparison of the generic mathematical program with a generic symmetric fuzzy mathematical program. For the generic mathematical program, we have an objective function, inequality, and equality constraints. But for the fuzzy mathematical program, our objective function is to maximize lambda or the aggregate degree of membership since fuzzy optimization integrates multiple objectives into a single variable, which is lambda. In this study, we use two versions of the model, the quadratic programming model and the mixed integer quadratic programming model. Both models maximize lambda as the objective function. The quadratic programming model on the left freely determines the capacity allocation of the technologies within the portfolio. Well, the uh, mixed integer quadratic programming model on the right selects the technologies or nets with fixed capacities. This approach suits scenarios wherein pursuing a project entails committing to a certain capacity, for example, in country or corporate level portfolios. The first constraint for both models deals with the uncertain negative emissions target. The second constraint deals with uncertain cost and performance of nets and uncertain resource constraints. Notice that the MIQP model introduces an integer variable B to determine the selection or non-selection of the technology. The limitations of this model is that it does not consider synergistic interactions, time aspects, and the permanence of the carbon dioxide removal. For the case studies, here is the fuzzy environmental footprints and costs of NETS from various references. Six terrestrial NETS were considered and the acronyms are found at the bottom of the slide. The fuzzy resource constraints based on planetary boundaries and current status of the planet are shown here, as well as the fixed net capacities for the MIQP model and also the annual negative emissions target. All these data are inputs to the model. Case 1 used the quadratic programming model where the model freely determines the negative emissions allocation of each technology. As we can see, four out of the six technologies were selected with varying allocations and 
enhanced weathering has the highest allocation followed by afforestation and reforestation. Bioenergy with carbon capture and storage and soil carbon sequestration were not selected. The total capacity of this portfolio is 4.49 gigatons carbon dioxide per year. On the other hand, the mixed integer quadratic programming model in case study 2 only selected enhanced weathering with a fixed capacity of 3 gigatons carbon dioxide per year. Again, this model is useful in cases where in pursuing a project means committing to a fixed capacity, which is true for small-scale projects. In conclusion, a fuzzy mathematical programming model has been developed for optimizing net portfolios, which accounts for the uncertainties in the environmental footprints and cost of nets. The output of the model is the optimum technology mix. Two versions of the model were demonstrated. The QP model, which freely allocates the capacities of the um, different technologies in the portfolio and the MIQP model which selects which technologies with fixed capacities should be or should not be included in the portfolio. Future work can, can include temporal aspects, synergistic interactions, and it's also recommended to do regional case studies as well as corporate or country level case studies for the MIQP model. This is now the end of the presentation, but before we end, we would like you to, to invite you to contribute in the special issue of the Cleaner Engineering and Technology Journal. If you have research in intelligent computing for green industrial systems with the following keywords, please feel free to submit to this special issue. Kindly use the QR code to lead you to the website for more information. Thank you very much. Comments and questions are welcome, or you may also email me at this email address.